one of the biggest economies in the world. Naturally, they have some pretty good finances themselves, as they rank as the seventh most affluent family in the world, with a net worth of $88 billion. The family has around $10 billion in properties in the United Kingdom alone, among which are priced pieces of architectural genius with historical value like Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, and other manors across the British Isles. While typically the head of the royal family is its richest member, Queen Elizabeth is not even in the top three of the Windsors. She is worth around $500 million at the moment, which, despite her 95 years of age, makes her one of the most wanted widows worldwide. Unfortunately for all the gold diggers out there, the Queen has only one love, her hat. Her son, and next in line for the throne, is also not in the top three. Prince Charles is worth around $400 million, which is still 10 times more than his son and second in line for the throne, Prince William. The wealthiest members of the British royal family are the three kids of William and Kate. The youngest of the three, Prince Louis, has merely $750 million to his name. The poor child is only three years old and has more money than 95% of the population. Talk about being born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Scratch that, his spoon was most probably platinum. The second richest Windsor is the future King of England, Prince George. The eight-year-old royalty has approximately $3 billion to his name. Whether he spends them on toys or simply plays a very high-stakes Monopoly game with his friends, that's anyone's guess. The richest Windsor is his sister, Princess Charlotte. The young girl is merely six years old, yet she is already valued at around $5 billion dollars. Her money, of course, is not due to shoveling manure during the weekends, but due to the endorsement deals her parents signed over the years. The princess has become a fashion icon from the moment she was born. The phenomenon has been called the Princess Charlotte Effect and has brought more than $3.9 billion to the British economy. Now that's what I call a golden child. Princess Charlotte was born on May the 2nd, 2015 in London. Her first breath was commemorated with a small ceremony, costing several hundreds of thousands of dollars. In addition, several landmarks in the British capital were illuminated in pink to mark her birth, among which were the Eye of London, the iconic Trafalgar Square Fountains, Tower Bridge, and the Tower of London. Moreover, her birthday was celebrated with gun salutes at Hyde Park. Two days later, her name was announced to the public. She was named Charlotte Elizabeth Diana after her grandfather, great-grandmother, and late grandmother. No, not Camilla, the other one. From the day she was born, Charlotte became an instant pop star. Whatever she wore became an instant hit and was sold out in a matter of hours. This made her one of the biggest fashion icons of the 21st century. And the girl is still six years old. However, her charming smile, cheeky antics, and natural charisma helped her become one of Britain's most beloved royalties. The shopping phenomenon that became widely known as the Charlotte Effect is estimated to raise over 3.8 billion British pounds for the economy during her lifetime. This overshadows the estimated GDP contribution of the future king by roughly a billion pounds. But sadly for the young prince, Fashion is a powerful game mainly for girls. Charlotte inherited her mother's blessing of being a fashion icon everywhere she went. The young princess even expanded on this phenomenon as some of her clothes went out of stock in less than 24 hours, such as her John Lewis pastel yellow cardigan. The princess was seen wearing it in an Instagram photo in Kensington Palace, and at a moment's notice, this otherwise normal-looking cloth disappeared from the shelves. The same happened with the blue dress she wore when she went to see her newborn brother, Louis. The popular Olivia Baby and Kids Clothing Company also admitted that its business peaked when Charlotte was seen wearing one of its designs. Strangely, most orders of the rose stitch cardigan the princess wore during her first birthday were from America and China. It seems that the independence from the British crown was only political for both countries. The six-year-old princess would certainly not be a allowed to spend all her money on sweets, mainly because she could actually buy a lethal dose of chocolate. Needless to say, though, the royal children won't be singing tomorrow with Annie anytime soon. From their birth, the princess and her brothers were always treated like, well, royalties. Just like George before her, Charlotte was born in St. Mary's Hospital, famous for its luxurious maternity services. This is the place where mothers go to feel like queens during birth. The hospital accommodates each new mother with a private room 
boom. High speed internet for those first Instagram reels with the baby, a personal safe, TV, and fridge. Paradoxically, there is no place for hospital food in this hospital. The kitchen staff delivers only high quality dishes right to the bed for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While many would prefer to stay in this luxurious hospital forever, lucky for Charlotte and her brother, they have a far better home. William and Kate's family lives in Kensington Palace. This modest home is valued at around $830 million. The Windsors recently renovated the house for about $3 million, and now it's a two-bedroom, two-nursery room manor. So whether Charlotte or George is sharing their room with Louis, no one knows. Being the daughter of the future King of England certainly has its perks. While William and Kate are more than giving to their children, many other world leaders try to stay in their good grace from a very early age. When Charlotte was born, the President and First Lady of Mexico gifted her a genuine silver rattle. This, however, was toppled a year later when the princess received another rattle, only this time it was an 18-carat white gold one encrusted with rubies, sapphires, and diamonds, just like the one I had. Minus the gold, rubies, sapphires, and diamonds, of course. This extravagant present was valued at around $40,000. Every girl has her favorite dolls. However, not many can claim they received them from Chinese President Xi Jinping. The leader of the Chinese Communist Party gifted Charlotte with a priceless set of silk figurines. Not a bad gift for the enemies of the proletariat. Former US presidents also didn't miss little Charlotte's birthday. Barack Obama gave her a cozy rocking chair. Still, the young girl can envy her brother, who received a greeting card worth $156,000 for his first birthday. Just like her father, Princess Charlotte and her older brother are not being looked after by nannies and governesses or Mary Poppins, but were enrolled in a nursery school. The young princess was sent to Wilcox Nursery School when she turned two. In September 2019, she joined George in attending Thomas's London Day School in Battersea. Naturally, this is not a public school, but a highly expensive private institution, costing up to $28,500 a year. Of course, the education of the future ruler 